हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू डिस्प्ले गूगल लॉग इन एंड फेसबुक लॉग इन बटन इन साइड योर एंगुलर थर्टीन एप्लीकेशन सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज अ स्टाइल विच इज गिवन टू दम ऑटोमेटिकली यू डोंट नीड टू राइट एनी काइंड ऑफ कस्टम सी एस एस इट्स अ कम्प्लीट लाइब्रेरी सो दिस इज अ लॉग इन फेसबुक बटन विद द लोगो ऑफ गूगल एंड फेसबुक सो इफ यू क्लिक दिस बटन दिस ऑटोमेटिकली दिस ट्रिगर दिस फंक्शन एट डिस्प्ले दिस अलर्ट मैसेज हाई and you can also disable this button also i will show you all this stuff how to do this and you can see that so this is the stuff we will be building i have written a complete blog post on my website if you want to download all the source code this is the library we are using here which is angular school social logging buttons so inside your angular application let me delete all the source code and start from scratch so this is your new angular project so first of all you need to install this dependency so and we will just uh, copy paste that name and pmi so if you just go to my blog post i have given this command here this is a command simply copy this command and paste it inside your angular project so i have already installed this module so it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds and it will install it so i will start this application ng serve so it will start it at local host 4200 so now guys what you need to do is that so you need to go to your uh, app.module.ts file so let me delete this line here and you will find this file like this you need to include here your uh, module that you have installed so you need to write the statement import from angular slash cool social login buttons so from this we will need to extract this cool social login buttons module so here inside your imports array just write this import this cool social login buttons module that's it you just need to do like this inside this file now you can close it and now we will move to our app.component.ts file currently it is empty So if I show you, this is empty right right here. You will see nothing is there. So right here we will have a div. We will center this div by giving a style attribute text align to center. So here we will just say we will declare two buttons which will be cool. We will have this button cool Google button. so this is a cool google button so here you can give any sort of label to it login with google like this so if you just do it now your google button is ready alongside with the logo you don't need to write any custom css by writing this simple line of code you have your own login button of google so if you are making any sort of login with google kind of a application you can use this library to style your button and similarly we will write cool facebook button and here you can just say login with facebook and now you will see we have the facebook button also there so alongside with the logo and this is a similar styles that you see on the official website also when you go to login with these respective social web websites so this is a very cool library we can have a break tag as well just to align it properly so now you will see some kind of spacing is there so here we can bind a on click event handler also when we click these buttons we need to bind something so there is the event handler also available so this is the attribute event handler so when you click it you can define a function which is login with google like this so when we go to app.component.ts file we can define this function here login with google so here we can just say a simple alert message you have pressed login with google button something like this so now if you press this button you will see this alert message you have pressed login with google button and similarly you can define it for the facebook also login with facebook so this library i find it very easy to work with you don't need to write a lot of code for just integrating the facebook and 
Google login buttons. You just need to write this simple. All the things are pre-made for you. You don't need to write, uh, waste your time in writing the CSS for them. So you will see very easy. And the last thing is that you can even disable these buttons. They have a special attribute which you can give to the, these buttons. So if you want to disable it, just inside square brackets, you write disable property and is equal to this takes boolean value either true or false so if you do it like this true it will disable the button so now you cannot click that button you will see it is disabled you can see it is getting that feeling you can't click it you can see it is disabled and if you want to make it false it will not be disabled you can see You can also declare a property here which of disabled which is of the type boolean and in the constructor you can display it the initial value will be this or disabled will be false and when you click this this property will change to true so you will you can just uh, assign this value here disabled right here so now when you click it this button will go disabled right here it will get a feeling of disabled it will be having gray background and one more thing guys you can also change the theme of these buttons also it ha also has a color property also so the third property so you can assign a color property the default is dark you can change the theme of these buttons so to light also this is a light theme you will see now this will have a white background color so what you can do is that you can declare a theme variable here so just declare a theme variable so when you load the page for the very first time this theme will be turned to light theme the value will be light and now when we click it it will change to dark sorry this dot theme so change just delete this alert button and also this uh, here also this dot theme is equal to dark so we can just give this variables here like this color again to theme so now what will happen is that if you just do it let me see theme is not assignable to dark and light just surround this inside these brackets let me see if it is working So it is not working so you can just do it like this for now just have the color property equal to light so this will change the property we'll see it will have similar to Facebook button as well so in this easy way guys you can just display the facebook login and google buttons inside your angular 13 application all the source code will be there inside video description please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video